Welcome to Chile TV. Today's topic is June Immigrant Heritage Month. And we have today Edgar, Edgar Aguilar. He's going to be discussing um, some events that Chile will be a part of. And he's going to tell us all about it, how we can get involved, and what we can do um, now so we can get ready for the event. Exactly. So as you know, June, like you mentioned, is the Immigrant Heritage Month. Not only that, but it's also Pride Month. So it's a really heavy month, and we're very happy to uh, be putting together our fourth annual Emmy Art Show. So uh, for the past four years, Chirla has been putting together an art gallery that celebrates, that elevates and uplifts immigrants throughout history. And the way that we do it is that we put together an art show uh, of immigrant artists and uh, up and up and coming and established artists. And uh, we display their artwork they are They come to the show. They share with the visitors their view, the purpose of the show, uh, the purpose of their art. And we're able to, you know, uh, incite a, a healthy healthy dialogue about the struggle of the immigrant movement, the struggle of artists, and uh, how to move forward as one, as one voice, uh, you know, with one pencil, write da writing down or drawing our history together. And what makes this year different from the rest of the years? Like what's different, what's new? Tell us a bit more of what we can expect for folks that want to come by. Right, so um, like I mentioned, it's the fourth uh, iteration of this show and uh, last year it was due to the pandemic we had to do it uh, indoors so uh, it wasn't one-to-one uh, -one. it wasn't in, in, in public it was uh, on Facebook live and you can actually check out our last year's event on Facebook on Cheerless Facebook page you just look up for Amy art show on Facebook and you'll be able to check it out and the years prior we were able to hold the gallery. Um, we hosted it at the uh, Mexican consulate, uh, the uh, cultural center that, the, it, that they have there on, right by MacArthur Park. We held the event for uh, a little bit of a month uh, during uh, June. And prior to that, we had it at the uh, Pasadena Playhouse when there was a show called Border Town being presented. So uh, people would go out uh, before the show and after, uh, during intermission and after the show to check out the art pieces. And it's funny, the first ever Emmy art show, we hosted it in the Chirla office in the lobby and in the what it is our, our main conference room. So it was a really guerrilla art show, just the walls covered with art. We had, you know, a little bit of wine, a little bit of water, a little bit of hors d'oeuvres. So it, it, you can see that it has progressively uh, evolved and grown to something that now we're able to present with Ola, the heart of LA, the, in Lafayette Park. So we are growing. We're inviting all of the artists to join in, participate, and share with us why you celebrate the, the immigrant struggle. Why do you celebrate the immigrant movement and how we can all together, like I said, move forward because that's what this is, is the immigrant movement, we keep going. Right, and this year I noticed that you guys combine art and activism, calling it activism. Can you explain a little bit more about that? Right, so artivism is not a term that we coined, but it's a term that we're using. Um, artivism combines the word art and activism because when you create art, you are sending out a message, right? What you're doing is sending out a message so that people receive it, they interpret it, and they get it in their head, they, they really try to understand what you're portraying. So a lot of people, what they're doing is putting uh, a twist on their philosophy, an improvement on their philosophies, and making sure that it's not just pop art, it's more of an art that, that ignites you, your spirit. It's something that ignites, ignites your your, your brain, it makes you think a little bit beyond what you see, beyond the canvas. You see the history, the stories of this artist and, 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 the, and the topics that they're, that they're touching. A lot of people write, about, write and paint about um, uh, their struggle when they, the, when they were coming to this country, um, what is happening in their countries, how this country is treating them. So it's, it's, it's seeing immigration through the lens of an artist and it just shows it, it's, it's a display of, of a beautiful beautiful art wow i'm so excited for this event to happen um i want to know where it's going to be held what time 
But first, we're gonna take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back to know more. Hey everyone, we're back here on Chirla TV chatting about Immigrant Heritage Month, more specifically, Imi Art, the show that was created by Chirla an art, for an art expression of what the immigrant movement is all about. And one thing that I really enjoy about Imi Art, uh, Chirla's art show, is that what we've been able to do is, uh, like I mentioned earlier, put together a plethora of artists together of different backgrounds, of different ethnicities, and celebrate the immigrant movement. Uh, in some of the art that you will be able to expect here, um, I think would be some sculptures, uh, spoken word, some people have read poems. Uh, we even had Anike, who is one of the producers, is the producer of uh, Chirla's uh, Know Your Rights film, uh, America's Family. She will be displaying a piece of, uh, of that movie as well, uh, which I think has completed shooting. So it's going to be a, a great show. I don't know if you've had a chance to seen any I of the shows before? I haven't yet. I haven't yet, but I will be going to this event. So I'm hoping it'll be mm -hmm. a great time. But uh, tell us more. Where is it going to be held? What can we expect? Um, can we bring other guests? Who can we... Well, of course, we want to bring as many people as possible, right? So this art show is going to be taking place at the Ola Center, uh, <clears throat> the Ola Center, which is uh, the heart of LA, and it's at Lafayette Park, uh, which is within, if I'm not mistaken, it's, it's between Koreatown and uh, Westlake MacArthur Park area. So it's, it's a smaller park. It's not as big as MacArthur Park. It's a smaller park called Lafayette Park. Uh, and it has a new venue. Uh, and I think that uh, this Amy Art Show is going to be perhaps the first time that this whole new well, venue is, uh, is used. So and I'm, I'm Edgar, very excited. what is the cost to attend? What does that look like? And yeah, tell us more. <laughs> it's free. It's a free event. There is no cost associated with it unless unless you want to uh, purchase a piece of art because the artists that are going to be displaying their artwork are more than welcome to um, sell their pieces or donate them to Cheer Life they feel like uh, so that we can then bring funds to the organization that way uh, and the immigrant movement but primarily artists are welcome to display their pieces if they're opening uh, if they're open to selling then we can put that as well. We'll let them know, hey, someone's interested in purchasing your piece. So that's the only time where money is involved, when someone wants to purchase a piece of art. Got but it. other than that, hey, it's going to be an open space. People can come in, enjoy the art, really getting, get it in, soak it all up, and uh, really... And just to reiterate, you mm -hmm. said it can be any expression. It doesn't have to be a certain theme. It could be kind of open-ended. It right. can be interpreted to the to the artist. Right. So it doesn't have to be uh, like a canvas and everyone is going to just be displaying canvas or photography, but like a mixture of different uh, art pieces. In the past, we've had, uh, hemos tenido esculturas en medio de, 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 la, de la exhibición, esculturas muy bonitas. Um, hemos tenido piezas enormes de, de, del suelo al techo de, de canvas y hemos tenido personas que, que, que hacen uh, poesía. Uh, hemos tenido danzantes. Tuvimos este, el, cuando, lo tuvimos, cuando tuvimos el evento en el consulado mexicano, tuvimos eh, danzantes típicos de México. Um, y también hemos tenido música. Este año esperamos tener música en vivo. Uh, hemos tenido... De hecho, la primera vez que hicimos el evento, well, the first time that we held this event at the Chirla office, we had a really passionate member of Chirla. She's an elderly lady, and she has a beautiful voice. Y cantó unos corridos hermosos. Wow. Unos corridos que ella misma escribió. <laughs> Y sobre, sobre el movimiento inmigrante, sobre lo, los compañeros de DACA. Y es, tiene una voz preciosa, preciosa. Me, y pudimos escuchar sus cantos, escuchamos poesía in different languages, English, Spanish. Uh, we've had all, 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 all well, expressions. What a great way to celebrate June and Heritage Month. We're so excited to attend. Um, one last thing. Will you be presenting a piece? 
I, will I present a piece? You know what? I consider myself a bit of an artist, but <laughs> am I at par with what we're going to be displaying? I don't know. So uh, perhaps I'll lend one of my pieces, and if someone wants to buy it, hey, why not, right? So I'll definitely consider it. Um, but you know, we have this show, so we could even potentially air some, some of this show in, in the, in the uh, gallery. And one last thing, um, as given that we're currently, um, in, during COVID times, um, what kind of safety precautions folks should know about before attending the event? Should they wear a mask the entire time? Can you let us know a little bit before attending and then? Why don't I tell you that right after this? Sounds good. We're back from commercial break with Edgar and he was just telling us about what we can expect for the event and then also how it connects to current Chirla campaigns that are going on right now. Edgar? Well, as you know, we've had that Yes to Immigrants Forward campaign. We've had a couple of episodes uh, about this great campaign that is not just here in LA or California for that matter, but this is a national campaign, right? Uh, it's part of the We Are Home movement. And what really this event, what it entails to do is to bring awareness to where immigrants are in this moment and not like where they are in lo like location wise, but mentally and in terms of like at the federal level, where do we stand, right? So with the Yes to Immigrants Forward, uh, which we want to invite everyone to sign the petition to say yes, yes to Immigrants Forward. Uh, we want to make sure that people um, participate in uh, bringing awareness to what has happened during what happened during the Trump administration and how things are changing during the Biden administration, how much progress we have done, but that at the same time that there is a lot of work to do, right? So uh, I'm sure you've had the opportunity to educate uh, and, and share with uh, Chirla members what their rights are and why they should be part of this campaign, right? Or what do you think? Uh, yes, I agree. Um, the work that I do also at Chirla uh, involves Know Your Rights campaigns, um, also connecting folks to their city council members and Congress folks. So yeah, it definitely makes me wonder what else we can do to connect <laughs> the dots. <laughs> right. Have, do you have any like artist friends that maybe want to participate in this? I do. And I, I was wondering, can friends out of state across the country, can they also participate? Or? Well, yes, of course. Anyone, anyone who considers themselves an artist can come and participate, you know? We want to invite everyone, of course, uh, whomever has the, the possibility, the ability to come to LA and be part of this amazing collaboration between Chirla and Ola uh, to be part of it. And Edgar, don't forget, it's our 35 year anniversary. That's right. So we definitely want to incorporate all that artwork and past movements into this event, if possible, right? That's right, yeah. So it is Chirla's 35 fifth anniversary, right? So for the past 35 years, Chirla has been advocating for immigrant rights. Chirla has been there uh, uh, advocating for day laborers. Uh, it has been there advocating for domestic workers. Chirla has been there advocating for students, high school students, college students, you know, so Chirla really has been pushing forward this whole time and, and it shows, right? And right now it's the 35th year anniversary, 35 años de, de movimiento, 35 años de estar en la lucha y pues a celebrar 35 años más, ¿verdad? And Hay que seguir. I can't wait to go out again, vaccinated, like you said, CDC precaution measures and right. go out there and see everybody, all our other friends in person. That's right. So uh, there is, there, there, during the event, uh, since it is uh, an art gallery, uh, people will be able to walk around. So it will follow all CDC guidelines. Uh, people will be required to be, uh, you know, wearing protection gear. Um, if you're vaccinated, of course, you, you can join too. If you haven't gotten your vaccine, make sure that you do. You can get vaccinated. Right now, you don't need um, an appointment. There's a lot of places, a lot of clinics throughout Los Angeles where you can go and get vaccinated, not only in the city, but also in the county, in the state, 
and all throughout the country. So and we invite. if folks need mm -hmm. help, they can also call our Chirla hotline mm -hmm. and we can connect them to resources available to them where they can have that vaccine available, hopefully before the event, right? <laughs> of course, yeah. And so everybody is more than welcome to reach out to Chirla, visit chirla.org, um, check out all the avenues that you have to uh, stay protected, stay healthy, and, and really salir adelante todos juntos, ¿verdad? Ese es el punto de todo esto. Artistas, cantantes, este, organizadores, estudiantes, todos juntos para adelante. And to folks that are watching us from home, if they have maybe an art piece or something they want to collaborate with or donate or participate in or just watch virtually, um, where can they go? Right, so they can always go to the Chirla website, uh, chirla.org forward slash uh, Imi Art. They'll be able to learn more about the event and um, watch it as well on Facebook and on all of the different Chirla um, social media pages. There will be uh, a display of each piece of what we have so that people who cannot come, los que están en casita, lo van a poder disfrutar todo uh, para que vean que esto es, es para invitarlos a todos. So nobody misses out. Everyone exactly. will be going. Well, that's great. Um, we'll be right back and we'll continue talking about the event. De regreso aquí en Chirla TV, continuando la plática aquí con Karen sobre IMI Art, que se va a estar celebrando en junio, que como lo dijo Karen, es el mes del inmigrante y también es el Pride Month, right? So, what should we be expecting now? You, Karen, will you be uh, reaching out to your Artist friends, are you going to be reaching out to anyone to join to the event? Yes, um, I want to participate personally. Um, ¿Tienes piezas tú? Yo tengo unas piezas, pero ¿dónde, cómo participo? ¿A quién le mando mensaje? Well, um, you can always visit chirla.org and um, get the information on how to submit your piece so that it's well taken care of. Um, but we want to invite all of the community to submit your art pieces before June First, so there's time. Well, they have to arrive to Chirla, to the Chirla office by June 1st, so that you know, uh, myself and the, uh, the great team putting together the event um, can gather all the pieces, set them in order, set up the, the artwork, set, set the art space, uh, and all being very careful, of course, of each one of your pieces. So if you submit your pieces by June 1st, uh, excuse me, if the pieces arrive to Chirla by June 1st, then you're golden, you're solid. And I'm sure a lot of folks have art pieces but don't know where to display them. This might be a great venue and great opportunity to be around other artists that want to also get involved. Exactly, because we've had art from all over, uh, all over California. And as a matter of fact, as you can see, like the pieces that we have here uh, have been created by the community, right? So. Here at Chirla TV, we've been very cognizant of making sure that we display pieces by the community. As a matter of fact, uh, that one over there, I think it's Lalo Alcaraz. It's a print uh, that he donated. So we've had Lalo Alcaraz has participated in Emmy Art. Uh, Shepard Ferry donated a couple pieces. If you don't know, Shepard Ferry is the guy from Obey. You know, the big murals that you see in the streets. He has participated. So, so amazing. Yeah, those are <laughs> the bigger names that you can see there. But also uh, smaller names, more uh, up and coming artists are encouraged to, to submit a piece. There's a huge community out there and I'm hoping that they see this and they also come and participate, so. Um, that's the whole point, right? Because immigrants are not just like Mexicans down the border, right? Uh, immigrants come in all shapes, colors, and forms. So that's what, what Imi Art is. It's a mosaic of different cultures, of different people that come together to, to form the bigger picture. Once you step to uh, like to in, in, if you step a couple steps back, you can see the the, the beautiful uh, mural that we all create, right? Because we're all all immigrants. Uh, we we're just you know, especially I feel personally uh, myself being Mexican, I feel that we are full of color and joy. So uh, and there's 11 million people currently undocumented right. in the U.S. So we know there's a large community out there. 
Um, it would be great to have folks participate and also translate their struggles, our intersectional struggles, in a form of expression through art, paintings. Um, I know you mentioned um, spoken word, um, but I'm super excited. How are you feeling about this? <laughs> I am really excited. Like you mentioned, this is for the 11 million undocumented immigrants. This is for all of us. This is so that we celebrate one more time the immigrant struggle. We celebrate our communities. And if you're an ally, if you're an undocumented artist, if you uh, are a, a, a woman, if you're a member of the LGBTQIA community, we encourage you to submit your piece, be part of this great event, and uh, expose, get some exposure in you know, communicate, share your, your message with us. And if they don't have anything, they can work on it now, start working on it, but they can reach out to us mm -hmm. through our website, telephone number, our hotline. They can send you an email. Right, yeah, they can reach out uh, membership at cheerla.org if you want to learn more about uh, how to submit your piece or uh, the, the deadline. Again, uh, your art must get to Cheerla by June 1st so that we can Put the put the event together but yeah everyone is welcome to participate uh, all languages welcome all communities welcome so uh, we hope to see you there we hope to see every one of you there and we hope to see la tv there too well, <laughs> we'll see you next week we're so excited we'll see you soon and again reach out to us through our website telephone number um, our membership so we'll see you there thank you so much Get us